Hello friends and welcome to my channel Statistics for All. Today in this tutorial, we will learn how to perform an independent sample t-test using Excel. Friends, we will see how to perform it using data analysis tool pack and we will also learn how to perform it using Excel formula. So here we are having one question that two types of diets are given to hens in a poultry farm to increase the weights of the hens. Test the hypothesis that both the diets are equally effective. We are having two samples with us, diet A and diet B, and we have to check whether these two diets are equally effective or not. That means there is difference between these two diets or not. So basically we have to compare the mean values of these two diets. Okay, so one thing is clear that we can perform t-test. But in t-test, we are having different different types of t-test. So as we are having these two samples which are independent of each other, that means diet A and diet B are independent of each other, so we can perform independent sample t-test to check whether these two diets are equally effective or not. Okay, so first we will define the hypothesis. Our null hypothesis will be both the diets are equally effective. That means we are stating that there is no significant difference be between these two di uh, diets. That means mu1 is equal to mu2. And the alternative hypothesis will be there is significant difference between two diets. That means mu1 is not equal to mu2. And because we are not favoring any one of the diet, that means we are not saying that mu1 is greater than mu2 or mu2 is greater than mu1. We are just stating that mu1 is not equal to mu2. So this alternative hypothesis will be two-sided alternative. Okay, this is not one-sided, it is two-sided. Remember this point. So now to perform independent sample t-test, go to data tab, click on data analysis, Scroll down the options and you will see here t-test two sample assuming unequal variance. So select this test and click on OK. We have to provide the sample range. So in variable one range select the first sample along with heading. Okay. Similarly select the second sample in variable two range along with heading. Check this label option because we have selected the heading. Alpha is the level of significance. We are performing this test at 5% level of significance. So it is already 5%. If you want to change, you can. For output options, select this output range and click on any one cell in the sheet. And now just click on OK. So here we got the independent sample T test using data analysis tool pack will get all the summaries that means the mean value for both the diets the variance observation means the sample size then the degrees of freedom t stat means the t calculated value this p value it is for one tail and the t critical value means t table value it is for one tail and we are using two tail distribution okay so we'll see the p value for two tail okay so here our p value for two tail distribution is 0 0.9756 now the rule is we have to compare our p value with 0 0.05 because our level of significance is 5 percent so we'll compare our p value with 0 0.05 the rule says that if our p value is less than 0 0.05 we should reject the null hypothesis okay but as our p-value is 0 0.9756 which is greater than 0 0.05. So we will not reject the null hypothesis. Instead we will accept the, our null hypothesis which state that both the diets are equally effective. That means mu1 is equal to mu2. So our conclusion will be both the diets are equally effective okay so using this way we can perform independent sample t-test using data analysis tool pack now friends if by any chance you are not having you are not getting this option of data analysis tool pack in your excel then you can perform this test using excel formulas itself how to perform it using excel formulas so for that use the formula write down equal to t dot test 
you have to select the array one array one means our first sample value so select only the numbers not the heading okay for array two select the second sample tail means we are providing whether we are using one tail distribution or two tail so here we are using two tail distribution so select the two option second option and for the last option as we are using independent sample details select the third option two sample unequal variance bracket over and click on enter so you will directly get the p value for two tail distribution which is same as this p value that we got using the data analysis tool pack so these two values will be same and as we have already seen the rule that this p value is greater than 0 0.05 so we fail to reject the null hypothesis and we will conclude that both the diets are equally effective okay so this is how we can perform independent sample t-test using excel so friends if you found this video useful to you please let me know in the comment section please do not forget to like the video and share with your friends thank you